And I guess we'll just carry on. Go waiting. Baylor, you go in first. Together with Mort. What's, uh... So what have we got here? Okay. Hmm. Alright, looks like we'll have to go in there to lure him out. Uh, yeah, okay. I wanted to lure him out. I await your command. Nameless one, support with force missiles. Okay. Doesn't look like I ended up using it. Or. Oh, I don't know. Cursed guard. Sure, why not? Mort, you know what to do. Fall from grace, get out of there. Nameless one, get out of there. Baylor, get out of there. Or not. Okay. Very well. You really gotta stay out of there, Grace. If you want, you can get on that side, and that should be safe. Wounded. And now a healing spell would be you will not escape quite good. Again. All right, I don't think the healing spell is coming. Let's use one of these healing items that we've been collecting. Oh, okay, they're all dead. Alright, maybe a little bit of a waste, but whatever. Scroll of Magic Missile. Done. I think we're gonna have to send everyone away. So the nameless one can go in on his own and collect the uh whatever's left. Okay. Great. Where's the stairs where are the stairs to the next level? Done. I see. So there's a door down there. Oh! Bookshelf? With healing items, nice. And Death Bolt. Which is a level 8 spell. So we might as well learn it. Book. I don't think we can cast it yet. Again, it has been a while since I've uh, gone through my spells and made sure I'm using all my slots. Yeah. No such luck. Oh, Grace has all her spells selected. Yeah, she does. Okay, save, of course. Alright, all right, let's walk away a bit and then save. Hmm. All right. Why? More to go in first. Failure second. Nameless one third, just so I can see what what's happening. And fall from grace. Do you have any healing spells left? You have lots of healing spells. You should use them. And use one on Morta as well. As a designated tank. Very well. Alright, let's do it. Good as done. Okay, everyone move in. Nameless one cast a spell. I think this one is an AoE. You will Valor. Use the other heart charm. Everyone move in and attack. Let's just try to deal with this guy as fast as possible. Knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. 
Okay, so we've got a level up to keep in mind. And next time we have to retreat to the barracks, possibly. All right. And there's stairs here. Anything else on this side? Hidden door? All right. Yeah. All right. Locked Some files. Or filing cabinets from Locked. the looks of it. This room is, uh, I guess it's not hidden because there's a door to the main area, but it is hard to see. Right, use your thieving skills on this. What's up, Chief? I go and use your thieving skills. What? Might as well. <laughs> Three thousand gold. We'll take that. Right, a little bit trapped, but. Oh well. You know, it wouldn't kill you to say a few Got words it. to me, Fiendling. Right. Or hug me. Or kiss me. Chris blind. All right. So we've got a few more, um, a few more healing items. Name this one. Get up there and and take the healing items. So you've got space in your inventory. What's this thrice blind term? Invokes blindness. I guess <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Everyone else can just go ahead and take um, extra things. We're gonna have so much gold when we get back to town and sell all that all that junk we've been getting. Alright, save. Do we heal first? Yeah. I'm listening. We will well, we would heal if we could, but we can't. Nope, this looks like this is the top level. Probably. More What's the word, Chief? Alright, Baylor, you get closer to the front. That can you too. What's up? Hmm. This is a little bit concerning. No enemies? I'm gone. No I'm enemies. Gone. All right. I hey, I'm all for that. Maybe a few dead cursed guards. We see one of cursed finest lying in a pool of his own blood. His armor has been thoroughly savaged, the flesh underneath it looking as though it has baked in the heat of a thousand suns. He gasps up to you from the runes of his face. The Deva is strong. Do not enter until you can defeat him. He expires quietly. Alright. Well, that is a, uh, a tell to save. Take a look Locked. for more stuff. There's no reason not to. Can always save again. Got it. Doesn't look like Why there's not? anything else. Sledgehammer, battle axe, club, freezing, freezing axe. That looks interesting. Dagger, strange object. Club. Let's take a look at these. Um. Talk about beating a dead horse. <laughs> At last. Was that you have awakened. Was that cursed or what okay, so we've got enchanted items. Strange object. Okay. Well we'll identify. Um Mark of the Savant. Cleverly designed this object splits into two pieces of form of uh, to form punch daggers. Improperly used, they're deadly in combat. The easily accessible levels, uh, levers, and gears shoot out and twist various blades almost as if they were extensions of the hand. Although excellent as a combat weapon, those same mechanisms used to shred, uh, shred the flesh of an enemy can also be used for the delicate procedures of opening locks and disarming traps. Only the most gifted of thieves possess items such as this, as it takes a keen mind and skilled hands to properly operate them. 
Great, that's an item for Anna. This item is, uh, inventory is full. I'm sure that's better than whatever she had before. Yeah, 2 to 8 versus 3 to 18. Plus 4, and then a whole bunch of bonuses to dexterity, base hit points, uh... Hang on, let's see. So if I equip that... Let's try equipping that again. There we go. The base hit points went up quite a bit. Oh, I have to make a point of not uh, not having these equipped anywhere. Great! So what's this? Okay, so we got freezing axe and an unusual dagger. Unusual to find art sharp edges and angles. Hmm. Well, it looks like we'll need to get someone else to identify it. And if we had a scroll, we could do that. Alas, we do not. You've got the identify spell. Why don't I, uh... Yeah, we'll rest. And when we... When we return... From our rests, we'll uh, we'll continue identifying all these mystery items. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. All right, I'll be back shortly. Oh, powers above! I got this stupid itch on the back of my head again. It's it's killing me. Ah, serves your right, skull. You should sure irritate the rest of us enough. You know, one day you'll have an itch you can't scratch, and I won't help you. And then, my revenge will be complete. Oh, well isn't that nice. Okay, um... I will finish identifying the items now, actually. Wrong screen. Let's identify. Edge of Oblivion. Hmm. Alright, so 9 to 10 slashing. I somehow doubt this is going to be as nice as... Yeah. I think 5 to 15 plus 1 to 6 fire is more than... Yeah. Valor's axe is better. Not usable by good characters. Yeah. So I think that's for the loot pile. It's still neat. And then we've got these daggers. It's a cursed item, um, from cursed. The acids of Porphatis, the fifth layer of carcery, are dangerous to more than the body's physical form. They tear at his mind and soul, eating away at his reason. Weapons forged in this heart of betrayal do the same thing to their owners, but too many believe that the acidic powers of the weapon created in Porphatis uh, are worth the risk. Okay, but as I recall, Fall from Grace has has a spell that can remove the curse from the item. So why don't we why don't we try doing that? Uh, priests, yeah, remove curse. Removes the curse upon the person targeted. It does not remove the curse from the actual item itself, but allows the person to successfully unequip and rid themselves of the cursed item. Okay, so it probably means that you can't unequip it once it has been equipped. What about the uh, stats of the dagger itself? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really see it being too useful to us, actually. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
do a little bit more healing and then I will fast forward uh, to the top level of the administration building.